For cheap and reliable, yes, when I say cheap, I mean cheap and reliable, check out the brand new coin sponsor, FIFACoinsale.com. You can find that in the link in the description. Don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 5% off. Good on YouTube, Curtis7 here for the review of United defeating Liverpool 3-0 at Old Trafford in, uh, in a game that pretty much put a smile on my face uh, pretty much the whole game. I was just happy from the get-go. Uh, mate, what more can I say? Just absolutely, just so pleased the way this game went. Well, it couldn't get any worse from nine months ago to now. Who would have thought in nine months where Liverpool came to Old Trafford, got three penalties and pretty much just trounced us, almost, almost won the league and uh, nine months later, here we are. Liverpool don't even look like they're gonna make top four now. And uh, United, mate, we're pretty much, uh, pretty much got top four uh, in at the minute. I don't want to get my hopes up too soon, but uh, anyways, lads, let's get to this review. Uh, United, uh, Rojo didn't start. I was a bit upset with that. Apparently, he's injured. Another injury, my God. But Phil Jones uh, came back from injury, which was good. And, uh, and Herrera got dropped, which I was a little disappointed for, but hey, it worked out in the end. So I guess you can say Louis van Gaal got that right. But anyways, lads, uh, first chance of the game came to Raheem Sterling. Now, Sterling in this game, um, there's been a lot of talk about Raheem Sterling lately. Um, last season, he was immense. He was unbelievable. But it's got me thinking. Last season, he had Luis Suarez there. He had Daniel Sturridge on, on form. He had the best defenders away from him this season he's got the best defenders on him now so all the pressure is on Raheem Sterling and this season he has definitely not come up trumps uh, he has got to do better when he, with his finishing now I know he's not an out-and-out -out striker but with his pace he should be scoring goals uh, a lot more than he normally does now he had three one-on-one -on -one chances not one not two but three and he failed to put any one of them away, which is not good enough at the top level. I know he's only young, so I'm not gonna take him to town, but you would hope that improves because if it doesn't, well, you know, happy days for us. But now, nah, in all seriousness, lads, uh, Raheem Sterling has got to do better than that. And same goes for Mario Balotelli, who is an out and out striker. Um, anyways, uh, so the first chance comes to Raheem Sterling, one-on-one -on -one with the Haya, should be putting it away, picking a spot, he doesn't, he just just pretty much goes for just a, uh, just a shot, just a, just a hit and hope kind of thing, the Haya easily saves that, we go down the other way, now, the thing that makes me laugh about this, Antonio Valencia gets the ball, skins Joe Allen, and Lalana just stops and watches him, literally, watch the replay, he just stops, oh, Antonio, you're going that way, mate. Far out. Just looks at him, skinned him, cut it back to Wayne Rooney, gets a pass. Brad Jones, who started for Liverpool, 1 0. Happy days. What a finish. Well done, Antonio Valencia. Ah, uh, mate. Great to be up 1 0. Uh, you, I, it was early on. Uh, anyways, in this, in the, uh, still in the first half, um, Ashley Young got the ball in the wing. Uh, cut it back inside the box. Now, when I first seen this, it looked like Brent or Robin Van Persie got, didn't even make contact with the ball. Came to our matter, headed in, 2-0. I was thinking, happy days! Now, looking at the replay, clearly, Robin Van Persie touched it. Clearly, offside for one matter. But you know what, lads? It's one of those goals that when you see it on replays, you go, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely offside. But these referees don't have these... Um, uh, you know this this technology available to them. You know they don't get this. They have to get it first time. And first time, I thought Robin Van Persie didn't even touch it. So it's one of those goals where you know they go for you. You get yes, get in. And when it goes against you, you be like, oh, it's absolute bullshit. It's offside. But it's against the Scousers, which makes it even more sweeter that it was offside. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Two nil. Happy days. For fuck's sakes, Liverpool, you got three penalties at, at Old Trafford last season. You can't be fucking complaining about the referees at Old Trafford. So anyways, we go into halftime, lads, 2-0 up. And I'm thinking, this game's still not over. Liverpool are still having half-half chances. Anyways, Mario Balotelli came on 
for uh, Lalana in the second half, which I thought was a good move by Rip Brendan Rogers. Um, but again, Johnny Evans played this back pass. Now it was in between Carrick and uh, De Gea. I don't know what he was thinking. De Gea came too short. Carrick didn't even go for it. Raheem Sterling again. One on one with De Gea. You'd think he would just go around him, but no. Big Dave stands up again. Makes a world class save. Keeps us in this. Mate, David De Gea. So, honestly, Glazers, you know, Edward Wood. Give him an open contract, just give him a blank check and let him fill it out. Pay anything this guy wants, he will, he will, and almost is the best keeper in the world. He, I'll tell you what, one day he will be, he almost is today. Mates, get that contract signed up, unbelievable. But anyways lads, um, going down again after that chance, it came back to um, Wayne Rooney. No, it actually came to Juan Mata who played a lovely ball to Rooney. Rooney played a terrible pass to Robert Van Persie, but Lovren, the 20 million pound defender for Liverpool, who made probably the worst clearance you'll see all season long. Gave it straight back to one matter who I thought was just gonna hit this first time. No, he stayed calm, stayed composed, found Robin Van Persie, who tucked it into the bottom corner. Brad Jones, well, well off his line, 3-0. Game, set, match, how do you like those apples? Lovren, mates. Now, I, I tweeted this out and it's so true from Roy Keane. Roy Keane said this this year and it, it just got me thinking. Uh, when you sign shit players, you'll have a shit team. And unfortunately for Brendan Rodgers, he has made one too many shit signings this season. AKA Mario Balotelli. Now, 16 million, it's worth the gamble, so I can't really disagree. He came on the second half, threw his hands in the air, whatnot, but he did try. But uh, Mario Balotelli had a lot of one-on-one -on -one chances, which he did not take. Now, he had a lot of chances, but he was just happy to get a shot off, let alone do what world-class strikers do, and, his, and that is pick corners. Rarely did he pick a corner. I can't remember David De Gea going to the top corner, making a save, besides that one that was cleared from Mario Balotelli, where he pushed it onto the bar. Other than that, they were all straight at him. He never really dived into, into the corners of the net. They all just came at him. He was just blocking him. So for me, at Liverpool, they clearly struggle up front and they really do miss Daniel Sturridge. Hell, Daniel Sturridge, it could have been, you know, 3 all today. Could have been 4-3, could have been 3-2, could have been any scoreline. But Liverpool really struggle up front. Barini, why isn't he getting a game? I'll never know. But um, that's the way the game ended, lads. 3-0 to United. Liverpool had their chances, squandered them. Uh, we had our chances and we took them. 3-0. Happy days. Now we are what? Uh, I think seven or eight points behind Chelsea now at the top of the table. We've pretty much, uh, I think we've got like a five or six point gap now in the top four, which is unbelievable. Heading into Christmas. Um, that's going to be good going into the busy period. If we can come out this bu a busy period, uh, five or six points exactly where we are, clear from uh, uh, the top four. Happy days. I will take that every day of the week. Beating the Scousers, lads, that is unbelievable. Considering where we were nine months ago with David Moyes, how Louis Van Gaal has turned things around for us. It's just they're just bringing the good times back to old Trafford gets in. But anyways, lads, I'm your boy Curtis Seven. Please drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those wonderful things which you can find in the link in the description. But anyways, lads, I'm your boy Curtis Seven, and this is for you, Stevie G. <laughs> get in, come on, you know, <laughs>